Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Andrew, and um, I'm uh, I'm going to do a different sort of video today. Um, I've been off work the last couple of days because uh, my daughter Isabel's been sick, so she's been sleeping a lot. Abby's been sleeping a lot, so I've been reading some graphic novels and finishing some stuff up. So um, I figured I'd show you guys what I've been reading and give you guys some reviews and. Um, it's no new stuff, guys. This is all, you know, older stuff. I'm sure all you guys have most of these, and, um, but we'll see. See what we got here. Okay. Oh, before we get any further, um, last Saturday, when, uh, we went to go get, um, the girls, um, Isabel got a twin size bed, and Abby got her, um, old, um, toddler bed. So now the crib's gone, so awesome with that, but I picked up a book, I ended up getting uh, Superman Man of Steel number 18, which is the first Doomsday, this thing's in mint, first, first print, I gave $5 for it, so um, if uh, you guys know if that's a good deal or not, I mean, from what I understand, this book is pretty popular because of Doomsday, but it's also the 90s, so... You know, they uh, they were hyping the death of Superman forever, so I don't know how many copies slash printings there were of that, so. Just give me a holler if you guys know how much that's going for. Okay. First book I'm going to review is The Punisher. Um, Girls in White Dresses. Basically, the gist of the story is that um, there's a small town in Mexico that um has all of their girl their women young women like teenagers and below kidnapped and then a few days later they they drop them back off in town and they're all like um you know like white dolls they're all like um drugged out and whatnot and so the the town decides to pool their money and they send somebody to New York to pick up the punisher the punisher goes look I'm not an assassin but so he comes to the town, and after beating a few people up, he figures out that that there's somebody that's using the girls to package drugs. And then after they're not useful anymore, they get rid of them. And um, so the rest of it happens very similar to a Punisher story. There's some torture. There's um, the Punisher beating some people up. And then... Um, you find out at the end that Jigsaw is actually uh, the one behind the drug ring, and of course the gov uh, the uh, the governor, the Punisher shoots him shoots him up, and the story's over. And just like at the end of um, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, you see all of the the women that were gone coming back to their small town, and then they um, at the end of the story, the Punisher left them with more than just uh, getting rid of the drug dealers. He um, gave them the courage and the tools to um, stand up for themselves. And so at the end, they the girls start killing all, uh, beating up all of the um, low-level drug people in their town, and then the Punisher walks off into the sunset. It's, it's a decent story. I mean, you know, I've found that a lot of the Punisher stories are very formulaic, and... Um, this one's pretty good. The art style's really good, and um, if you guys are a fan of um, the Batman, um, the Dark Knight series that's ending for the New 52, I believe this guy, Greg Hurwitz, is the same guy that's writing it, so it's a, this is, this is good. If you guys can pick it up cheap, I would definitely pick it up. It's worth the read. Next, um... You guys know that I've been reading uh, Daredevil. This is the Mark Wade uh, Daredevil. This is parts one through five. Um, I actually really like this. Um, basically, uh, he comes. Uh, Matt Murdock comes back to New York after he was outed as being Daredevil, and um, his career's kind of in the toilet because every time he goes into court. Um, they harass him about being Daredevil. 
So he's he ends up saving um, he ends up saving this guy, and it turns out that um, all of the um, all of the major crime groups aim um, aim and all of them Hydra are tr are gonna funnel their all of their money through uh, Latveria to clean their money. So uh, at the end of the story. Um, uh, Daredevil ends up getting this like super hard drive that has all of their information on it. I believe they call it like the Omega Drive or something like that. But it's a piece of old Fantastic Four tech, like you see him holding it right there. And the story ends with him, um, you know, just sticking it in a drawer and keeping it safe. From what I understand, that comes into play later on. Um, I'm waiting to be able to order uh, Volume 2, because I got Volume 3 in hardback for 4 bucks. But this was really good. If you guys are a fan of Daredevil, I would suggest picking it up. Um, you can get all these relatively cheap on Amazon. Okay, next. In light of the movie coming out soon, um, I figured I'd go ahead and read it. And um, I've heard a lot of good things, like... Um, Tom, Hippies Collectibles, you're always um, talking about how awesome Captain America is as a character, so I figured I'd read some Cap, and um, I figured the best place to start was where they're going to be talking about the movie, and I heard that the Brewbreaker run was the best one, so I ended up reading Winter Soldier, Part 1, and uh, as soon as I get paid, I'm going to be getting Part 2, but... Um, this is uh, this is an interesting story. Basically, um, it start it starts out with um, actually, you know what? The movie's getting ready to come out soon, so I'm not going to ruin this. All, all I got to say is that uh, this is really good. The art is really good. Um, I remember Michael Lark from um, his work in um, Batman. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Gotham Central. And uh, the Brubaker's uh, writing is amazing. There's a lot of character development. There's a lot of flashbacks into uh, Cap's history in here. Um, it's just really, really good. And uh, I believe I got this for like $6 on Amazon. So there's no excuse for not picking it up. Finally, I know this is a really random assortment, The Punisher... Daredevil, Captain America. Uh, the last one I recently read was uh, Flash Rebirth, and um, I remember buying this book back in like I think 2010 when it came out. And I remember um, I got it on Free Comic Book Day, and my first copy, well, had a bunch of manufacturer's defects in it. It looked like somebody took some neon blue tape and stripped them down the um, half of the pages in the back. So. I ended up sending it back, getting a new copy, and I, I remember reading it, but I didn't remember anything about it, so I was on my back, uh, back where my comics are, going, okay, I've read that, I've read that, I remember that story, I remember that story, Flash Rebirth, hey, I should probably read that, so I pulled it down, and this, t this takes place right after, um, Barry escapes the, the, um, the Speed Force in, um, Final Crisis, where, you know, he leads the, ba the Black Racer, the Black Racer chases him, and he uh, they, he basically opens up the Speed Force, and the Black Racer kills um, Darkseid. This takes place right after that, and he's basically trying to assimilate his... He's trying to get back to his life where he left it off. And um, Barry's having a hard time with it because he doesn't feel like he belongs there. And then he... Um, one of the speedster villains comes out of the speed force, this guy named Solovar, and um, when he touches Barry, he rapidly ages to, uh, like, death, and he, he just dies. Kind of like uh, that scene in um, uh, Indiana Jones, where the Nazi drinks out of the wrong um, um, grail, and, you know, you've chosen poorly, and he disintegrates right there. Kind of the same thing. And, um, you end up finding out that Professor Zoom 
actually supercharged Barry with um, negative speed force and and turned him into the Black Racer. So, and he was hoping that Barry would kill all of his um, all of the speedsters and basically ruin his uh, ruin his life. And um, you find out that actually uh, Professor Zoom is the one who killed Barry's mother because he needed Barry to become a cop so that he could um, try to um, solve his mother's murder so that he could be struck by lightning and create the speed force. Because this, Barry didn't just tap into the speed force when he um, was struck by lightning. He actually created the speed force. And so he needed Barry to do that so that he could create enough speed force to win in the 25th century, Professor Zoom could use it to come back in time. It's kind of confusing, but once you read it, it's it's really good. And um, it's got Jeff Johns on the writing and Ethan Van Skyver on the um, on the art. Uh, Van Skyver's art here is amazing. If I ever get the chance to meet him, I've got a bunch of his work, but this is what I want him to sign. This book is amazing. I love the Flash. And um, I would definitely suggest picking this up. Uh, you can find it in hardback, relatively cheap. Um, but yeah, all four of those were good. I also recently read uh, the um, Marvel Zombies Halloween, that, issue, that book I had a couple of videos back. It was, uh, it was okay. I mean, you know, it was... A one-shot Halloween story. Basically, a little girl wants to go out. Wants to go. Um, I don't remember if it was a little girl or a, or a little boy. Anyway, the kid wanted to go trick or treating in Zombie Land, and uh, the mom um, basically says that you know we can't do that because you know it's too dangerous and all that. And the kid finds a cat. The cat gets out, and the kid goes chasing um, the cat through this town, and you see all the zombie superheroes and whatnot trying to kill the kid. And uh, Mephisto shows up and saves the kid, and uh, kills Squirrel Girl, which which I'm cool with because I don't like Squirrel Girl as a character. And at the end of the story, you end up finding out that the girl that um, the mother of the kid was Kitty Pride, and that the um, the father that they alluded to the entire story was uh, obviously Colossus. But it was okay. I mean, it, it wasn't anything that you know I want to you know, put in my top ten greatest comics ever, but it's a good story. Um, I guess that's it for now. I mean, I just want to do a few reviews there and let you guys know what I thought of them and maybe turn you guys on to some stories that you might not have um, originally wanted to, because honestly, I, I've seen in you guys' videos, Daredevil, uh, Captain America, so I decided to give them a try. Marvel Zombies, I mean... I would have never picked those up if I didn't see them in somebody else's video first. And um, So yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, call it a day here. and um, I'm just going to encourage you guys to get out there and read some comics and uh, watch some videos. Um, I know that, there, that there's a lot of people on here, a lot of amazing videos. Just, if, if I can make a request, just um, if, the, if the comment's not going to be positive or constructive then just leave it to yourself. I mean, there, we have enough negativity in all the other aspects of our life that we really don't need it when we're trying to, you know, just talk about our hobby here. But, you know, like I said, if it's constructive, if it's, hey, you know, you could have done better with this, then that's that's fine. But just don't just start thumbs, thumbs downing just because you feel like, you know, thumbs downing them. But that's just me. I'm going to get down off my soapbox and... Um, Thanks for watching, everybody. See you. Bye.